everybody, Martin and Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm back with the Copper Liz version 2 um, and left the craze saltwater flies I'll put a link in the description for the book if you've not got it um, now as always we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page um, if you've not seen version 1 you can go and look at that as well um, now, there are three versions in the in the book, but I'm only I'm only got to do one and two, right? Version one is this one, right? Let's get the it's got loads of desk cloth on it. It's got um, a muddler head, basically a deer hair head, chenille body, right? Whereas this one's got the gold body, no no deer hair, and just the brown marabou and copper wing. Version 3 is exactly the same as this, except it's a tan marabou wing. That's the only change you need to make, so I'm not doing a video for that. But, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel. Get access to the online content, online tying classes, that sort of thing. Enter into the giveaways for the flies in the channel, tied in the channel. Alternatively, you can like the video, share the video, watch it all the way to the end. That all helps the channel to grow. Comment below, right? Any interaction it makes YouTube think it's worth showing to other people. So I've got my Umpqua Vice, this is a one-hot. It's a Umpqua U401. Usually preferred the, the Gamakasu SS. Was it standard saltwater 11? Uh, that's quite good. The mustads, you know, any bendable hook, right? Um, and I've put a wee bend back in it. If you don't want to bend your own hook, so you're no confident with it, the the Arex bend back hook is an excellent hook, right? There's the bent, there's the sort of bench shrimp, which is a good profile, but they've actually brought out a a, 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 a dedicated bend back hook. Um, Designed by Chris Adams over in Australia. I'm um, quite also do one, but I've not used that, so I can't really comment on it. But it looks to be alright. It looks angular bends, which is no my cup of tea. Anyway, I've run on. This is some Danvils flat wax nylon. Probably 210, they look at it. Um, and brown. And I've run it down the shank there. And I'm going to tie this in as the tail, basically. Fluorescent red calf tail, good bunch of it. Nice wee hot target at the back of the fly. See, about a shank length. And I'm going to take my tie in point, sort of... I've started it here, but I'll run back so that the tie in is kind of more or less in line with the barb, right? That's fine. Now I'll crush the barb later on my fishing flies, but I like the barb as a, a guide on when I'm tying. So I'm going to take some gold body wrap, right? Like just any kind of flat braided, um, any braided mylar will do. This, gold, this body wrap's slightly, it's round, right? It's, it's kind of like diamond braid rather than a flat braid, um, but but don't think it matters, right, use what you like. So I'm just going to catch all this in, tidy everything up, have a smooth underbody. Right. Now because um, I'm not putting a deer hair head in this, and it's a marabou wing, I'm not adding any lead, right. Uh, on the muddler head version, I did, uh, uh, I do put lead on them. Um, I mean, you can leave out the muddler head version as well, it's up to yourself, depending on your fishing. Um, I don't fish for redfish, because I live in Japan, um, but I'm sure some of that shallow marsh fishing, maybe the, the muddler head without the deer hairs, without the lead, is um, quite a good addition to your box. Uh, but anyway, as I say, there's, I don't need it here, right? I've kept the tail in the, in the gap, right, so that the drags encouraging the fly to ride the right way up. 
what he varnished this and then wind the mylar. Uh, there's no any drag on this part where the, the keeling effect will happen and the wings up here creating a parachute effect that should keep it tracking uh, nice and true. So, as always, durability comes first. Right? You know, it doesn't matter, a fly might catch plenty of fish or it might be effective, but if it forced to bits, it's not any good to anybody. Um, you know, if I can get a flight to last 40 fish rather than 3 fish, then that's what I'm going to want to do, right? There's nothing wrong with adhesives. Or varnishes or resins or anything like it. So I'm just going to get that. I'm just going to just using the rotary function just to come up the very smooth here but I'm just going to let it come up and I'm just going to let the, the body wrap actually let push off the the turn in front right uh, get that up there come to the front come across the thread now because I've counterwound that, so I'm going to just take a turn onto the hook to lock the thread. And that stops your thread trying to run down the spiral of that material. Trim that waist, leave it slightly long so that I can just use the thread to push it along there at the head length and even at the taper. And then the brown marabou. Nice heavy wing we want on it. Right, plenty of plenty of movement in the marabou. Plenty of life. So we'll take the take away the rubbish, see what I've got. Looks quite nice this one, so just pinch the tip away. And this one is also quite good by the looks of things, so the same thing. Take away the rubbish. You see this one, there's a couple of fibres that are no perfect, but it's good enough to use. What I'm going to do, I'll make sure this is sort of on the bottom. Right, so it's less seen. I think once it's wet and dry, it will, those, those fibres would be ideal anyway, but just when the fly's new and fresh. So that's a nice, a nice couple of fibres, a nice, it's going to become a nice dense wing. And then, if we bring this back, it'll be longer than the tail by a wee bit. It'll be half a tail length or so, out beyond. That's not bad. Two or three tight wraps is fine. Come on, lift this up. Cut it at an angle. Just tie that then. No super fussy about getting it just perfect yet because I've still to tie in my flash. Can we mix a copper flash a boo here? I've got some nice copper flash a boo with red through it up there. I don't know if it's actually head run that makes that stuff that's up there, but anyway, uh, good bunch of flash. Don't be shy with your flash on these. In Lefty's book it says 20 strands per side. Um, and if you do feel that it's too much when you're fishing, you can always cut it off, right? And then, put it on my side, I'll take it onto your side. Tie back up onto it. Make sure everything's above, right, so it's on the sides, it's above the the keel line, which is that straight line that you can draw from the, the eye into the bend of the hook, right, I want it kind of up on top, 
on the sides to the top and then different lengths and you just taper the ends <coughs> oh excuse me and then it's just a case of tidying up the head right and it's worth spending a wee bit of time just to get your head nice right like it, I mean it's n mostly aesthetics but actually like a, a nice wee bullet shaped head helps these to come through stuff and if there's no any bumps on it for things to catch right, you actually end up with like, like a more durable head right? like, like it's smooth, it'll pass over sticks and rocks rather than sort of catching and I mean, just takes very little to catch the thread and, and, and start start wearing it away even with cement right. so if it's smooth bullet shaped it'll just pass through that wee bit nicer and then again you get a good a good dose of cement and you end up with a nice durable fly and that can even soak into that on the underside there it'll merge with the stuff that's uh, seep to it through that gold body braid and I just disturbed a bit and got it in the varnish so I'll just take it just pull out that individual fibre but there you go so that's co the copper Liz version 2 and as I say version 3 is exactly the same everything's the same except you change to a tan coloured wing that's it. These are good flies. Designed for redfish, but I'll tell you what. If you're bashing mangroves, you could do a lot worse than having these in your box. So, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below, and I'll see you for another one. Tight lines, guys. Bye.